Hello everyone, welcome to the Needle Magic. In today's tutorial, we'll be making these crochet bell flowers charm. You can use it as a charm or you can even use it as a keychain. They're very beautiful. So let's begin. We'll start by making a magic circle first. First of all, we'll make a magic circle. So we'll wrap the yarn on our two fingers and make a cross. Hold it with your ring finger. Place your needle under the first loop and pull the second loop and twist the needle. Slide it off your fingers and chain one to secure. So your magic circle is ready. Now we have to work in the magic circle. The magic circle may have six single crochet stitches. So we have to work six single crochet stitches in the magic circle. So put your needle in the magic circle, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have two loops on your needle. Yarn over and pull through both of them. So let's make five more. This is the second single crochet stitch. Three, four, five, and six. So we have made six single crochet stitches in the magic circle. We have six single crochet stitches in the magic circle. Mein. Now I'll Pull the yarn tail and close the magic circle. The magic circle we have closed. Kar diya. I'll go on to the first single crochet stitch that I made and I'll make a slip stitch. So here we have first single crochet stitch. Se slip stitch karke se join. Kar chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and one more double crochet stitch. This counts as our first double crochet stitch and we have to make one more in the same stitch where we did the slip stitch. So yarn over, go in the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your needle. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So we have two double crochet stitches in the stitch, which is the chain three, which counts as our first double crochet stitch and the other one that we have made. In the next stitch, again, we'll make two double crochet stitches. One and one more in the same stitch. Two. Then in the next stitch, again, we'll work two double crochet stitches. One and two. Then in the next stitch, again, we'll work two double crochet stitches. One and two. So, we have two stitch mein do do double crochet stitches banane. in the next stitch again two double crochet stitches one and two so we need to have a total of 12 double crochet stitches by the end of this round so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in the next stitch we'll work two more one and two now we'll slip stitch onto the third chain so at the beginning we made three chains so at the topmost chain we'll slip stitch and join so jo teen chains humne banayi thi uski top wali chain mein slip stitch karke se join kar denge now chain 1 and fasten off chain 1 karke ab fasten off kar lenge and then we can take a tapestry needle and weave in these ends I have weaved in both the yarn tails. I have both the yarn tails. I have weaved in both the yarn tails. Now we will take our next color. So we will take color. Lenge. And you can just attach the new color in between these stitches. So anywhere you can just Place your needle in between any of the two stitches and you can attach your new color. So, you can those stitches ke beech mein kahi par bhi ise attach kar sakte. Chain 1 and tighten it. So, we have attached it. Now, pull 
अ लिटल लॉन्गर लूप थोड़ी सी लॉन्ग लूप पुल करेंगे बिकॉज वी नीड टू मेक अ पफ हेयर तो यहाँ पे पफ स्टिच हमने बनानी है यान ओवर गो इन द स्पेस पुल अप अ लॉन्ग लूप यान ओवर गो इन द सेम स्पेस पुल अप अ लॉन्ग लूप टू यान ओवर गो इन द सेम स्पेस पुल अप अ लॉन्ग लूप थ्री यान ओवर गो इन द सेम स्पेस पुल अप अ लॉन्ग लूप फोर यान ओवर गो इन द सेम स्पेस पुल अप अ लॉन्ग लूप फाइव सो यू हैव डन दैट फाइव टाइम्स यान ओवर एंड पुल थ्रू ऑल द लूप्स एट आर ऑन योर नीडल एंड चेन वन टू सिक्योर द पफ सो हियर वी हैव मेड वन पफ नाउ आफ्टर टू स्टिचेस आफ्टर टू डबल क्रोशिया स्टिचेस the space that you will have here we'll work our next puff from here so so skip these two stitches and in between the next stitch we have a space here so we'll work our puff here so yarn over go in the space pull up a long loop 1 yarn over go in the same space pull up a long loop 2 yarn over go in the same space pull up a long loop 3 Yarn over, go in the same space, pull up a long loop four. Yarn over, go in the same space, pull up a long loop five. Now yarn over and pull through all the loops that are on your needle and chain one to secure. Then again, skip two stitches and the space here we have. We'll be working our third puff. So yarn over, go in the space after the two stitches. So after two stitches, the space over here, yarn over, go in, pull up a long loop one, yarn over, go in the same space two, yarn over, go in the same space three, yarn over, go in the same space four, yarn over, go in the same space five. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain one to secure. Then again, skip two stitches and the space here, yarn over, go in. Pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain one to secure. Then again, skip two stitches and the space over here. We'll work our next puff stitch here. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through all the loops and chain one to secure. Then again, skip two stitches and the space in between. We'll work our next puff here. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain one to secure. So now we have a total of six puffs. We had twelve double crochet stitches. So in between two uh, sets of double crochet stitches, we have our puffs. So we have a total of six puffs here. Now we'll go in this space. We have to work from this space now. But before that, we'll go on to the puff stitch, the first puff stitch that we made, and we'll slip stitch and join. Now slip stitch in the space in between these puff stitches, and we'll work from here. Chain three, one, two, three. One double crochet stitch in the same space. Chain three, one, two, three, and one single crochet stitch in between these two stitches. So we'll put our needle in between these two, the chain three and the double crochet stitch, and we'll work a single crochet stitch. So this way we have created a pico. Then one more double crochet stitch in the same space. Chain three. And now in between these two double crochet stitches, we'll put our needle and we'll make a single crochet stitch. So we have created another pico. Now work in between the next two puff stitches. The space we have, we'll work a double crochet stitch. Chain three, and in between these two double crochet stitches, we'll just go in and work a single crochet stitch. Then we'll work another double crochet stitch in the same space. Chain three. We'll go in between the double crochet stitches and work a single crochet stitch. So basically, 
making the chain three and the double uh, chain three and the single crochet stitch we are creating these peak effect now in the next space again we'll work a double crochet stitch chain three and a single crochet stitch one more double crochet stitch in the same space chain three single crochet stitch then in the next space in between the next two puffs we'll go in make a double crochet stitch chain three one two three single crochet stitch to create the picot one more double crochet stitch in the same space chain three single crochet stitch so basically we are creating two double crochet stitches with the picots in each of these spaces in between the puff stitches so in the next space again we'll make a double crochet stitch chain three single crochet stitch another double crochet stitch in the same space chain three single crochet stitch now this is the last space we'll work a double crochet stitch first chain three single crochet stitch to create a picot another double crochet stitch in the same space chain three single crochet stitch and we'll slip stitch on to the third chain at the beginning we made three chains so topmost chain we'll just go in and slip stitch to join and chain one fasten off and then we can weave in the yarn tail using a tapestry needle so इसी तरीके से टेपस्ट्री नीडल की मदद से हम इसे वीव इन कर देंगे जिस को इन सम ऑफ द स्टिचेस थोड़ी स्टिचेस के बीच में जाके इसे हम वीव इन कर देंगे And we'll cut the extra yarn from here. And we'll cut the extra yarn from here as well. And our flower is ready. This is how it's looking. So we have to make four for this charm, but you can make as many as you want. It totally depends on you. आप कितने भी चाहे बना सकते हैं. But मैं सिर्फ दो hangings को join करूँगी. तो per hanging जो है वो दो flowers लगेंगे. तो मैंने four flowers इसके लिए use किए हैं. So I've made three more. So these are these are looking so cute. मैंने इस तरीके से बना लिए हैं. So you can make as many as you want. So I'm making two hangings joined together. So for each hanging, we need two flowers. So I've made four, but you can increase or decrease according to your liking. So now we'll start making the chain. So we'll start by making a slip knot first. सबसे पहले slip knot बना लेंगे. And we'll leave a little long tail before making the slip knot. and now the chain depends on how long you want your charm to be so i'll be chaining 40 main pehle 40 chains bana rahi hu aap isse bada ya chota kar sakte hain jis hisab se aapko long apna charm chahiye us hisab se aap apni chain ko long ya short kar sakte hain so i'll make 40 chains to maine 40 chains bana liye i've made 40 chains now i'll chain one and fasten off leaving अ लिटिल लॉन्ग टेल तो थोड़ी सी लॉन्ग टेल छोड़ के मैं इसे फैसन ऑफ कर दूंगी सो हियर वी हैव फोर्टी चीन्स एंड नाउ 
I'll take one flower. We'll place our needle in the center and we'll pull the string from from top and we'll pull it in and we have to tie one to two knots but not on the yarn where there's a single yarn where there is chain we have to make a knot here so here we have our chain here we will make one or two knots नॉट बनाने के बाद जो एक्स्ट्रा यान है हम इसे कट कर देंगे सो आई कट एक्स्ट्रा यान फ्रॉम हियर एंड देन वी कैन जस्ट पुल इट एंड इट इज अटैच्ड सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव टू डू विद द अदर फ्लावर एज वेल सो वील प्लेस आर नीडल आई विल टेक अ पिंक फ्लावर विद दिस सो वील टेक आर नीडल एंड वील प्लेस इट इन द सेंटर एंड वील पुल the other side of the of the strip of the chain we'll pull it and we'll tie a couple of knots tie one more And then we'll cut the extra yarn from here. And we can just pull it through like this. So here we have the charm with two flowers. And we need to make another chain to attach these two flowers. Now I'll be chaining 80 so that I have a little longer chain here. So we'll make a slip knot. स्लिप नॉट बनाएंगे एंड वील मेक एटी चेन्स तो मैं एटी चेन्स बना रही हूँ आप इसे कम ज़्यादा अपने हिसाब से कर सकते हैं यू कैन इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द लेंथ अकॉर्डिंग टू योर लाइकिंग बट आई एल बी चेनिंग एटी नाउ आई हैव मेड एटी चेन्स नाउ आई चेन वन एंड फास्ट इन ऑफ leaving a little long tail and then we'll do the exact same we'll take one flower we'll place our needle in the center and we'll pull the yarn through and then we'll tie a couple of knots the extra yarn from here and then we'll slide the flower we'll do that with the other flower as well put the needle in the center in the center oh my god one second the center is a little tight okay now we'll pull it through this we'll tie a knot And we'll cut the extra yarn from here. Pull it. And here. This is done. So we need to attach these two together. 
so I'll be attaching these two at this place so we'll take we can take a tapestry needle and I'll be taking the yarn and just hold it the way we want it to hang so like this and then we need this to be here so we need this top portion we can hang it hand it hang it from here or we can add a key ring so i'll put my needle here first and then at this place I'll just tie a couple of knots and cut the extra yarn. So our bell flowers charm is ready this is how it's looking you can even add a key ring or you can just hang it to your bag as it is It'll look very pretty thank you so much for watching keep crocheting be happy stay safe bye bye